And tonight, we wanted to know what people think of the president's role as President's Day approaches. Yeah, people we talked to today say the role was more important than any other year ago. Is that true now? Well, our Isaac Petcash is joining us from the newsroom. He's taking the pulse, uh, Isaac, of Erie residents today. You talked to a lot of them. What did they have to say about the presidential position? Yeah, Mike and Eva, we didn't care about their political affiliation. That didn't matter to us. We wanted to know from when you were growing up to where you are now, how much do you know or respect the presidential position? Their responses were interesting, and I'll tell you what, it's not as much as you might think. The office of the president, a position that marries mental fortitude with constant scrutiny. But it's also a position that over the years has changed in the eyes of everyday civilians. At least that's what political expert Jeff Bloodworth believes. So there was a, a kind of a, a bipartisan regard for the office. Republicans and Democrats don't really see themselves anymore as part of the loyal opposition. So today we wanted to take the pulse of Erie to hear how they think things have changed with the president's role from then until now. What differences have they seen throughout the course of their lives? So today we stopped at Shirley's and other local businesses to hear what they had to say. Follow me inside. Here's it seemed very... Uh... We spoke with three Erieites, all of different age, all with different backgrounds. We first asked them what the president's role meant to them when they were young. Joe Geppert looked up to whoever was in office as someone who would fight for him. I thought it was somebody that was the leader of the country to represent all the people in the United States. And I felt that they were a person that would represent us not just here, but overseas. Bill Laffin feels the same way. He relied on the president to keep and him and his family safe. He had to protect us from outside people and the country and make sure that uh, the laws were in the state. But at Dapper Dawn's, one of their barbers named Dang has never felt respected by any one commander in chief. He says presidents have long looked the other way when considering non-white's needs. Things that benefit us are never looked at or appreciated or, or even even uh, considered. So uh, it, I don't think it's changed for me personally. And I thought that the state of To him, the president's office doesn't hold much weight. It's a figurehead, you know, it's, it's, it's an image, it's, it's a symbol and nothing more. And everyone we talked to agreed that over the years, the president's office has lost considerable significance. <laughs> I don't think it means anything. I, I think uh, we gave up on it. The sad part is um, I feel that we've been going a, sort of a tennis match back and forth with the political parties. So what about the future? What do people hope to associate with the president's office years from now? For everyone, the answer, similar. They want it to be a symbol of love, a symbol of peace, and a symbol of understanding for the country at large. Change is difficult for everybody, and it's hard to accept people of different opinions, but we have to come together and meet in the middle somewhere. I wish that the uh, president and this country in general like, kind of cared for all populations that live in this country, and everybody's struggles and everybody's... Uh, Everybody's, everybody's struggle. Respect and honor. Those, those two were always there. Now, the people we spoke to today talked about how they diminished the value of the president, but they also right now diminish the value of Congress. They say with time, they believe that Congress can regain their trust, but that's going to be in conjunction with how they view the president in the coming years. In the newsroom tonight, Isaac Petcash, Erie News Now.